Previously on Eden Zero, we came to a startling discovery. As the dead moms were returned to the Eden Zero, the crew of Edens got to be reacquainted with their long deceased family members. But it was revealed that Captain Connor, I hope you've already seen this, is truly Rebecca's father. Upon him immediately recognizing Saint Fire Knox as the mother of his child, something that Connor had not shared with Rebecca for some reason. We also had a moment where Feather, Holy, and Eraser discussed the fact of how Pure managed to slip through their defenses with the lack of proper communication and camaraderie between the in Eraser says Interstellar having led to his long time of terrorism throughout the galaxy. Recognizing their failures, they hope to do better in the future, should they make it through these events. And we also had the event of Pino going into her overdrive mode in order to stop Ziggy with an EMP programming that seemed to have been slipped to her from Ziggy. And as she used the EMP on him, he reverted to the Ziggy that Shiki used to know, showing that there were, as previously speculated, Two sides to Ziggy all along, with the now good Ziggy, Grandpa Ziggy, wishing Shiki to destroy him before it's too late. Can Shiki do the deed? Join me as I find out, won't you? Alright, got a lovely picture of Hermit, looking cute as ever. Alright, Eden Zero, Chapter 210, The True Enemy. Alright, are we finally gonna get an explanation? There's holes in Ziggy's story. There's a lot of inconsistencies in regards to the Shining Stars and Dark Stars. And the nature of the history that Ziggy comes from is immediately suspect. I wonder. I really do wonder how much of it will actually get answered here. Alright. The original Ziggy. Well, original Ziggy. Stands before Pino and Shiki. Who Pino looks overjoyed. Shiki is shaken. Ziggy speak. Ziggy is asleep for now. This is our only chance. Kill him. Shiki is taken aback. He calls out to his grandpa. But Ziggy tells him, I know you must have a, have loads of questions, but I don't have time to answer them all. Ziggy will wake up soon. Before he does, you have to. But Shiki questions, Grandpa, is that really you? Pino nods and states, yes. I've blocked the other master Ziggy that was controlling him. I believe that this is most likely the personality of the Master Ziggy you once knew. Shiki's in disbelief. Personality? What are you talking about? You just told me you came from the future to save the human race. So how did you turn into that guy? Ziggy responds, Well, it isn't exactly another personality. I had been taken over. Taken over? By another entity? A corruption? I have none of my past memories including from when I was Shiki. I don't even remember coming from 20,000 years in the future. 20,000 years from now, I set out in the Eden Zero and left the planet Eden on quest to find Universe Zero. But then, the unthinkable happened, and it almost looks like the chronophage caught up with the Enid Zero and consumed it? He says, an anomaly in the e Ethereum? If I keep going, but... I can't give up on the mission. Oh no. Is that why the Time Eater is present in the universe now? Yeah, Pino says the cr a chronophage. Ziggy says, right before I made the jump through time, I came into contact with the chronophage and I didn't learn this until later, but I never made it to Universe Zero. I ended up on a planet in Universe One. Huh. <sighs> That's why the chronophage exists. We treated it as a natural phenomenon up until now, but no. It might have come into this universe with Ziggy when he made the time jump. Ziggy says, I'd lost all of my memories except for my name. I was on an unfamiliar planet, and I didn't even know who I was. A mysterious ship was falling apart right in front of me. The explosion sounded oddly familiar, like the ringing of a large bell. I named the planet Grand Bell after that sound. I repaired the ship and I built robots. Of course, I couldn't find any data about myself or my mission anywhere in the ship's memory. Huh. Before too long, I had a town on my planet, and eventually, it turned into a theme park. One day, a guest mentioned Mother, so I set out into space on the rebuilt Eden Zero on a quest to retrieve my memory. Cheeky questions. But you found me before you got there. Ziggy doesn't answer. Shiki asks, 
Where did you find me? Ziggy states, I can't tell you that. Of course. Of course he can't. It'd be too simple. <laughs> Shiki is also frustrated, saying, Why not? What planet do I come from? Ziggy says, I can't tell you. Shiki turns to Pino. Do you know anything, Pino? Pino states, I do not have that data. Ziggy states, you will know when the time comes, but that is one thing I cannot tell you now. Huh. The rest of the, you know the rest of the story. I died and that should have been the end of it, but my body was taken over. And I came back to life. What? My memories from my life as Shiki. The claim that I came from 20,000 years in the future. Those were things that were told to me. I haven't actually remembered them. Those memories are completely gone. The one thing I do remember is the time I spent with you on Grand Bell. Who told you these things, though? Shiki questions, so I've been calling myself Grandpa all this time? Z explains, no. I'm not you. Even if I did start out as you, this personality is my own. It, honestly, because it, it's true. Even if you did raise yourself, essentially, that would change who you were to a certain degree. Not to mention, we change drastically every five or so years. You are not the same person you were five years ago. Human existence is not that simple. Ziggy states, I still think of you as my grandson. Pino questions. Who is it that took you over, Master Ziggy? Ziggy states, the real enemy, the true evil that you must fight. Are we going to get an answer? And it's here on Lendard as we speak. And we see images of pretty much everybody. Rebecca, Happy, Clown, Sister, Wise, Elsie, Justice, Agnoella, Homura, Hermit, Laguna, Jin, Mosco, Klein, Connor, St. Fire Knox, Kachfu, Lavelia, Feather, Holy, and Eraser. Who is the evil? She asks, who is it? And Ziggy states, your real enemy's name is... Huh. <laughs> and Ziggy is taken aback by the fact that he can't say the name. He tries to say it again and again, but he says... I I can't say it. Pino realizes and says a language control program. Ziggy says, no. Have we used up too much time? I'll suppress my ether to its lowest level. Then you fire your black sky at me and destroy me. Shiki questions, what? Why would I do that, Grandpa? If there's a real enemy, then you don't have to. But Ziggy tells him, I'm too deeply connected. If you don't kill me now, I'll only be used as a pawn again. Besides, I've already died. Please, put me out of my misery, Shiki. As a single tear drops down his face. Of course, Shiki is hesitant. He's finally got his grandpa back. Only be told to euthanize him, essentially. <sighs> Who is the real evil? Oh god, we're not gonna find out it's Saint Fire Knox or something. Or does it have something to do with Clown? It is weird that Clown is still just around. Meanwhile, aboard the Eden Zero, near the medical room, we have Captain Connor sitting on one of the waiting benches outside. Near the door is Hermit, right beside them. Hermit thinks to herself, there's too much to take in. Ziggy was taken over by someone or something. Oh right, they're all still listening to all of this. And he can't tell us the secret of Shiki's birth. Sister says, does it have something to do with the Shining Star's memories being erased? And when did he make Pino? Oh no. No! It couldn't be! Okay, no, we'll see if what I'm thinking is the truth. Hermit says, no, wait, if what Ziggy says is true, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. It can't be. Is the true enemy. What the hell? You pick up with Elsie looking over a scene of carnage. It's the members of her crew. Seemingly slaughtered. We hadn't seen them in a long time. What the hell? Going? Shoga? What the hell? Someone who kind of looks like that dude Jesse, but he shouldn't have been with the rest of the crew. What is this? Elsie looks on in horror at what she sees. Or blankly? What does this mean? It, it can't be Elsie. No, this is a red herring. What does this mean? <sighs> God, I'm surprised we killed them off, but honestly, they were non-entities in the story. Usually, I don't like to say things like that with characters, but I barely got to know these characters. What have they appeared in, like a handful of chapters in total? I mean, they helped out Rebecca that one time, and that was about it. I don't like this, though, because that means that Elsie is now in harm's way. And I thought her crew were fighting in space still. Where did we last see their crew? Her crew. And I thought Jesse wasn't, wasn't there anymore. I could have sworn. I... 
they dropped her off on the planet, and I thought they had headed back into space to fight Acnoella's dragons or something. We hadn't seen them, like, since the start of all of this. And that can't be Jesse, because I know he wasn't... I Maybe it is, but why did he end up back at the Skull Fairy? When? When did that happen? And where's Bam? The one dude with the glasses all the time. Oh, don't tell me he's the ultimate evil. Honestly speaking, it could be anyone. But the only people who weren't present, who could have destroyed the Skull Fairy, it could be anyone who was aboard Elsie's crew, just hiding in plain sight. Maybe it's Justice. Maybe it's God Agnoella. I don't think it's Elsie. That would be weird. After everything we've seen with Elsie, that'd be a bit too much. But maybe? Uh, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. And do you think Ziggy's really gonna be killed by Shiki? Can Shiki really do it? Can he pull the trigger? And for someone to have told Ziggy all of this, there's a chance it's only half of it's even true. What did Hermit realize? Dang, another cliffhanger. Again, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I've been Deez and I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye